All right, what we're going to be doing tomorrow, guys, uh, I want you to bring in cookies. Now, you need to bring in enough cookies so that we've got one cookie for every person in the class. So that, that'll be around 30 cookies that'll involve uh, in case any of a break or if you want to do any quality control. Okay? Uh, what you want to shoot for is you want to get a cookie that not everyone else in the class is going to bring in. So if everyone in the class brings in Chips Ahoy's, it's not going to be a fun activity. But if we've got different cookies from everyone in the class, that'd be great. Now, don't go out of your way to find um, the weirdest, ugliest, nastiest cookie that no one's going to like. Try to get a cookie that everyone's going to like, just something a little bit different. So maybe instead of getting the Chips Ahoy, get the Chips Ahoy with the M&Ms in it. Uh, one thing that you want to do, you want to avoid cookies that have uh, highly allergic items in them, such as nuts, uh, maybe coconut, you want to avoid that. Uh, you are more than welcome to make the cookies at home. So you can either buy the cookies off the shelf, or you can make the cookies at home. Either one is fine, just if you're going to make the cookies at home, know what the ingredients are. Uh, if you're going to buy the cookies at the store, bring in the package so that anyone who has an allergy can check the package to see if they um, uh, are going to avoid the cookie or not. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? Okay. So, what we're going to do today with the cookie lab is, uh, first of all, here are the rules for the cookie lab. Here's how it's going to work. You're going to classify each cookie as igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. Now, how are you going to do that? Uh, well, I'll explain that in a little bit, but you're going to have a reason for each. There are no wrong answers here. So, you can have one cookie, and you'll identify it as igneous, and the person next to you will say it's sedimentary, and the person next to them is going to say it's metamorphic. The only thing that makes you right or wrong is what the reason is. Now, of course, they're cookies, they're not rocks, so you have to use a little bit of imagination to it. So you're going to identify the cookies being igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, and you're going to have a reason why. Do not insult any cookie. If somebody puts a cookie down in front of you, you go, Ew, that's a gross cookie. Well, the person brought that cookie in for a reason. Maybe it's their favorite cookie, maybe it's their favorite recipe, maybe it's the only recipe that they know how to make. So if you insult the cookie, you are indirectly insulting the person. So please don't do that. You can have plenty of cookies. You're not going to eat them all. So um, just don't insult any of the cookies. Quietly throw away any undesirable cookie. Um, be careful with any allergens. So if you have any allergies, you know what you're allergic to. If, if you're suspicious of anything, don't even touch it. Uh, give it to your neighbor, leave it on the paper. Um, if you're not sure, ask the person who brought the cookies in if, um, what the ingredients are. And if you're not eating today, take them home. I have uh, paper bags. So if for whatever reason you, uh, you're not eating today, uh, is, uh, is it Ramadan right now? No, it's not Ramadan? Okay, very often the timing of this is, uh, is during Ramadan and people fast uh, during the day. So if you happen to be fasting at all, just take the cookies, uh, put them in a bag, you can take them home and have them when you're, uh, when you're done. Okay, the key features of the rock types. This is what you're going to be looking for in your cookies to identify them as igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. If it is an igneous cookie, you're going to see what you imagine it to be intergrown crystals. You're going to see bubbles, or the, the cookie is going to have a glassy texture. If it is a sedimentary cookie, you're going to see layers in it. You're going to see fossils, or it's going to have fragments of other cookies inside it. Or it's a metamorphic rock. If it's a metamorphic cookie, it's going to have a warped or distorted look to it. It's going to have bands. It's going to have flakes or foliation, or it's going to be a dense cookie. So I'm going to leave this up on the screen so that you guys could uh, refer to it as you were um, checking it out. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Oh, C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Hey, you know what? A round cookie with one bite out of it looks like a C. 
A round donut with one bite out of it also looks like a sea, but it is not as good as a cookie. Or the moon sometimes looks like a sea, but you can't eat that. So, C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Yeah, C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Yeah! Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Oh, boy! Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C! Um. As igneous because it looks kind of glassy. I um, put it as igneous because it has the bubbles on the side. Um, we thought it was metamorphic because it was like kind of warped and it had flakes. Igneous because like the chocolate chips look like interfering crystals. Oh, oh, I put it as sedimentary because um, the chocolate chunk stuff it looks like it's fossils. Um, I classified it as sedimentary because it has layers. Chocolate chip elf fudge cookies. Metamorphic bands. It has bubbles, so I it as igneous. I classified it as igneous because it's like sparkly. Like the weirdest, ugliest cookie. cookie. Just try to get... <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Yeah! 